Number nine then from the 2019 Advanced Tire Maths. It's the binomial expansion, way down at number nine. Oh, it's used to be number one, this. And it seems to have broken the pattern of the past four years or so, where it was expand it fully, find a particular term. Expand it fully, find a particular term. This year it should have been expand it fully, but it's back to find a particular term with a little twist like there's an unknown. They're actually giving you the answer this time, but asking you to find a constant within it. It doesn't make it any harder. But they're specifically saying here, write down the general term, first of all, for three marks. Well, UR would be the binomial coefficient. It's power seven, so it's seven R. It's a binomial, so there are two parts. There's a two X squared, and there's a negative D upon X cubed. Now, generally, you'd make this one go down and that one go up, but you can put it both ways around, it'll still work. So if you let this be the one that climbs with R, that'll be the balance of the power there. Now, that's not sufficient. You need to tidy up numbers first, then variables. So the numerical part is 7R, although D, but that's a constant, not the variable. There's a 2 to the power 7 minus R. There's a negative D to the power R. And then there's powers of X. So what's that? That's 2 times... In fact, I don't really want to put in here. I'm going to do it at the side. The power is 2 times 7 minus r. That's underneath. So minus another 3r. So I can just put the actual amount here. So that would be 14 minus, that's 5r. Now part B, given that the coefficient of 1 over x is negative 70,000, what's the value of d? Well, the coefficient being negative 70,000 in the terms effectively that, that's the term. Well, if that's the case, so the power's negative 1, then this part here, 14 minus 5r must equal negative 1. So 5r equals 15, and r equals 3. So pop it into this to compare the coefficient with the coefficient. So that means I've really got 7, 3, 2 to the power 4. Negative d to the power 3 is negative 70,000. Well, I'll just spell it out. 7, 3 means 7 times 6 times 5 over 3 times 2 times 1. 2 to the power 4 is 2, 4, 8, 16. Negative, we'll cancel out in that negative, makes that just d cubed and 70,000. Right, so d cubed will be 70,000 divided by this lot. Now, that cancels out the 6, that's 35. I've got, 30, oops, I've got 35 times a 16 here. Well, 35 into that goes 2, so that's 2,000. That knocks it down to 1,000 over 8, which means that you've got d equal to the cube root of that, and those are both perfect cubes. That's 10 upon 2 which equals, I'll just carry on, which means D is 5.